What's up guys, Bates with Nate, and today in this video we're going to be doing some minnow heads for ice fishing. So uh, I'm going to find a trail hook so I can explain this. I'll be back. Alright, so I found one and it's pretty small of a hook. <clears throat> so I already have a twister tail kind of minnow thing here that I'm going to use on this dribble. And basically, <clears throat> I'm going to pinch. I'm going to pinch the minnow's head off. And what you're supposed to do is, let me, here we go, perfect. We've got a toothpick, and you poke a hole through it to make like a pre-hook hole. Just like that and you're gonna thread this has a this is like a trailer hook so I'm just gonna thread the whole line through it because I don't want to cut the line okay so uh, if this leader part wasn't on there it'd be easy to put on there but uh, Basically, it's gonna look like that. It's just gonna slip over the top of the treble and it's gonna be multicolored black and white white in this video I'm gonna do white and then I'm gonna do a uh, pink and chartreuse laminate <clears throat> to go Over the treble and I'm gonna try and find a treble because I still feel like I need to explain this So um, I'm gonna find a treble to show you guys what I'm talking about Alright, so I found one just about the same size as the last one, and you're just going to slip it over the treble. This head is a little big, but that's exactly what we're going for right there, and I'm going to make some different styles. I've got this paddle tail that I feel like would fit good over a bigger treble hook. And then I've got these open pores, this open pore mold that makes these heads and I could just cut it off in about the eye and give it some good detail there. So uh, yeah, those will be for bigger treble hooks but I'm gonna make ones about this size or even smaller for the small ice fishing treble hooks. And then just for a bonus, I'm gonna be making some uh, some ice ice fishing wax wigglers. And they look like these. I'm gonna make some different colors. Cause I need to I need to prepare for ice fishing season because uh, I don't have very much. I mean, I've got these piles of wigglers, but I don't have any different stuff for uh, like spoon baits and uh, Swedish pimples, whatever, stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna get the plastic all mixed up, get some cups filled, and then uh, we can decide what color we do first. All right. <clears throat> I was looking around a little bit and I found this little twister tail. Ugh. Excuse me. I found this little twister tail and I figured I'd try to just cut the head off. And that's what it looks like on the treble hook, which I think looks a lot better. I gotta do the makeup tutorial thing so it focuses. <laughs> but um yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. And that way I can shoot 20, I think 20 at a time in this mold. And I got some chartreuse here. So all I gotta do is pour some plastic in here and make up a uh, pink. I already got the pink, let me show you. This is a perfect pink right here. It's called bubble gum. We're gonna throw that in this pink and probably do a really fine silver and then keep it at that 
So um, that's the plan for the small treble hook. Um, I don't know what we're gonna call these. We're gonna call them minnow chunks. And just for a little bit bigger treble, uh, where is it? Just for a little bit bigger treble hooks, I've got, let me grab it. I got these paddle tail, these two and a half inch paddle tails. And basically I just cut the head off and it looks pretty good on the treble hooks. So that'll be good for a medium sized treble hook. And then we're just gonna cut the heads off of these for big treble hooks. Just wanna say while this stuff's in the microwave, it has been a while since I've been in the bait cave here because I've been out there trying to catch some deer. Um, I was sort of successful. I got, I shot some arrows, got some blood, but just not enough blood. So it's a bummer, but uh, shotgun season is coming and we got late muzzle loader. So I'm not too worried, but it's, a, it's an improvement from my bow season last year where I didn't even see anything. So just want to tell you guys that's what I've been up to lately. So uh, let's get back to making some baits. All right, so we got our chartreuse green here. We don't have our pink mixed up yet. I gotta grab another knife, hold on. Alright, I got my pink all mixed up. We're gonna reheat these and then shoot them in the mold. Alright, we have got our colors. Got our injector. That's a crock pot recipe I found last night called crack chicken. Oh, drug references. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. They are freaking astounding. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Really good. That is really good. Crack chicken. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try some of this crack chicken. Saucy. Saucy chicken. Stop. Just opened this mold without you guys. Sorry. But uh, they didn't really laminate. So I might try something else. They, well, they sort of laminated. So we're just going to try some darker colors on these. All right, I'm going to add some more pink and chartreuse to these colors because they're a little too transparent to see the laminate. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Here are full squirt guys. It's a little bit chartreusey. Yeah. yeah, that worked. Yeah, kind of bad. All right. So now we're gonna reheat these. We'll try this. Try this again. So I got the nozzle out of the plastic and this mold should be cool now. We're going to see if these colors actually laminated.
All right, guys, so we only got a few to laminate. So we're gonna try that again, but we're gonna do it a lot harder and hotter. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're gonna do that. Alright, so I got this mixing block facing this way now. I think I was doing it wrong. So, we're gonna give her another go. Okay, let's see if this laminated. No. No, it didn't. What's your problem, Nate? One of them was close, but no. They didn't. So, since the grub wouldn't laminate, we've got some trout worms. I don't know if you can see that. But that's laminated, and it looks just about the same as the grubs. So I've got the mold in the vise. We're gonna warm up the plastic and then Shoot it. Let's see how these turned out, guys. They turned out. So this is what we're going to be shooting for the pink and chartreuse. Here's how my baits turned out. It's not bad. <laughs> Those are quality. Look at that. Anyway. Alright, so these are how the trout worms turned out. The laminate is solid. So now we're gonna cut these to length and get them packaged up for ice fishing. Before we package them up, we're just gonna get another shot in there. So we're gonna have 40, 40 trout worms in this color. Or, we're calling them minnow chunks. I forgot. Because we're gonna alter the trout worm and whatever. It's gonna be different. I don't know if you guys saw, but I got the Black Betty, 13 Fishing Black Betty Ice Fishing Reel, and I got the uh, Wicked 28 inch medium rod, so I think I'm set for ice fishing. And I got, I'm pretty sure I got a Vexilar on the way, and then I got my Eskimo one person flip over tent, so I'm pretty excited for that. These turned out well. Good, great. So we're gonna use these. All right, so this completes the 50 chartreuse, pink and chartreuse trout worm minnow things. So we're gonna cut all these up and uh, show you how they look on a treble hook. All right, guys, so this is what, I don't know, you can't see it. There we go. This is what they look like. This one's a little bunched up, but that's the idea right there. We got 50, 50 of these. So we're going to do 50 black and white ones, and then uh, we're going to do some bigger minnow heads for bigger size trebles. All right, I'm not gonna do the small trout worm or the minnow chunks for black and white. I'm gonna do, uh, I had one. I'm gonna do open pores and then just cut the head off here for the big trebles and that'll work. Turn and paste on TV. 
shout out to Berkeley. So this is what the open pores turned out like, and uh, it's pretty much how I wanted them. So we're going to cut the heads off at about the second gill plate here, and then we're going to pour a bunch more. So this is the minnow head for the medium and big size treble, medium and large size treble. We've got, where's the bag at? We've got 10 in a bag and I got the little toothpick in there to poke the hole so you can put the treble up through it. But I need to make nine more of these and then we'll be done with the medium size minnow heads. So this is what I am doing with these minner heads is I'm just cutting them off at the first gill plate right there and then it's perfect fit for a treble hook. Alright while well that open pour cools what I did with the trout worms is I cut the heads off like about that far down as you can see. And I got a toothpick and I poked a hole in it and that's how they fit on the treble hooks like that. And uh, you can put these on spoon trebles, uh, Swedish pimple, anything with a treble. And I don't know why but the fish love it for ice fishing. So. That's what we're making. A uh, kid at school, one of my friends, he uh, gave me this idea. Um, I'll show a picture, but Northland uh, Baits brand, whatever, makes something just like this. So I'll show you guys a picture of that. And there's a couple other brands that make stuff just like this, so yeah. And then we got these, of course, that I made. And that's just the, where is it? These swim baits, and I'm just cutting their heads off. And it's supposed to imitate just a minnow head on a treble. So I'm going to take these out and bag them up. All right, guys, so while I peel these up, I'm going to tell you how excited I am for ice fishing and that there's going to be a lot of content related to ice fishing Sorry, coming on this channel. Um, I've got, I know I said in the beginning of this video I was going to do some wax wigglers, but I think they're just way too cool. And we're going to have to do a separate video on them. So uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see that video. Because there's some really cool colors and stuff you can do with the wax wigglers. And I need to stock up before the ice comes. And I got a new ice fishing tent for Christmas. Early present from uh, my mom and dad, shout out to them. <laughs> and I just purchased a Black Betty and what's it called? Wicked ice fishing rod and reel. 
so that's going to be my loadout for ice fishing. Um, I'm going to take you over to the ice tent because it's pretty cool. So this right here is the Eskimo one person flip over. It's not insulated, but it's still pretty thick and I'll be using a heater. So that won't be a problem. And that's Nick's. He's got a plywood thing in there that uh, holds a bucket, makes it more comfortable, you can hold your stuff. It's pretty cool. But uh, these are the wax wigglers, by the way. So we're going to make some of those in the next video. But wanted to show you that Eskimo one person. And I'm pretty sure I have a Vexlar on the way, too. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me make the uh, treble plastics. The little minnow chunks and these minnow heads for the treble hooks. Um, once the ice comes, I'll be making some videos on these baits that I made. I've got a mystery tackle box here. And I think for my next video, or next next video, I'm going to try and recreate a plastic out of the mystery tackle box. So, if you guys want to see that, let me know. And I also signed up for the ice mystery tackle box. So, we'll be doing an unboxing on that on the channel for you guys. So, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video.